好，二零二三年嘅第三十條咧，我哋繼續講翻呢一個 M s i z X 阿梅 X 咯喎。咁而家咧題目就講啦，去製造呢個 M s i z X 嘅呢個基因咧，佢哋個 Liquidity 個次序其實係唔同嘅喎，有啲分別嘅喎喺呢五種嘅細菌物種個樹。不過啦，呢、這個梅 X 咧喺呢五種嘅物種入面咧。其實都仍然能夠做到同一個功能喎、哦。咁題目就問我哋啦。咁下面三句咧，邊個係能夠解釋到呢個現象俾我哋聽咧？咁呢條題目咧，其實考翻我哋幾樣嘢嘅。第一啦，就係、是、蛋白質分子嘅構造啦，佢個構造又係如何啦？第二啦，酶嘅性質啦，同埋啦，基因密碼嘅簡拼性啦 ，degenerate 嘅特性啦。咁而家呢，我哋就嚟做一擊破啦噃。一句呢，佢就講啦，呢細菌呢，所製造出嚟嘅多肽呢，佢哋係有同樣嘅長度嘅，所以個功能咪一樣囉。No no no， 佢有同樣嘅長度啫，唔代表佢哋有同樣嘅活性位置嘅形狀啊嘛。佢哋都有一百個嘅氨基酸，但可能啦，有另一款嘅酶呢，佢都有一百個嘅氨基酸所組合而成嘅，但係代唔代表阿酶 X？ 係等於酶 Y 呢？又唔係喎，所以啦，同樣長度係唔代表佢哋嘅功能嘅，因為酶嘅特性就係佢有一個特殊嘅形狀，去令到佢同受質係可以黐得埋一齊，從而啦就令到佢同個受質可以黐埋一齊啊嘛，係咪？所以第一句呢，就可以 say goodbye 啦，咁自不然呢，大部分都已經知道係 C 噶啦，咁啊體育精神啦，搞掂埋佢啦。第二句呢，佢就講啦。多過一個嘅基因遺傳密碼，係去編碼到同一個嘅氨基酸、哦，正確啦，因為呢個就係基因遺傳密碼嘅簡拼性啦。雖然我哋有六十四個密碼子，但係啦，多過一個，一二三，但係啦，有一啲密碼子咧，佢哋係編碼同一個嘅氨基酸嘅。所以啦，即使佢哋有唔同嘅密碼子，但係佢未必影響咗嗰個氨基酸嘅序列，而正正佢冇影響氨基酸嘅序列，亦都唔會影響到嗰個活性位置嘅形狀啦。所以咧，對於個活性位置嘅形狀咧，都未必會改變得到，所以佢哋仍然能夠做到同一個功能咯。第二句正確啦，第三句就更加直接啦。就係話啦，雖然佢哋嘅基因係唔同啊，不過呢個唔同咧，係唔會影響到呢個酶 X 嘅活性位置形狀。喂，你都講到咁啦，酶嘅活性位置形狀不變咯，咁自不然就梗係做到同一個功能噶啦。咁第三句梗係正確啦，所以答案就係 C 咯。咁過往咧，我都拍咗一段片咧，係專係解翻蛋白質嘅性質同構造嘅。咁啊，快快手睇下片温下書咯喎。Two two three question thirty. We continue the topic about the M s i X. The l e u c t i sequence of the genes and coding M s i X have some difference among the five species. Yet the M s i X in these five species still serve the same function. So which of the following are the possible explanation for this phenomenon? This question is checking out three concept. First of all, structure and the conformation of the protein molecules. Second, the nature of the enzyme, the degenerate feature of the genetic code of the codon. So let's take a look at the statement. Statement number one: the polypeptide form have the same length. This statement is wrong, because having the same length, it doesn't mean that the polypeptide have the same shape of the active site. Because the shape of the active site is very important for the M site activity, the M site, the active site, it is specific shape. It makes the M site can bind only to the substrate that fits the shape of the active site. Therefore, we just talk about the length. For example, M site X, there are one hundred amino acid, and for M site Y, it also contain one hundred amino acid. But it doesn't mean that they have the same function. They just have the same number of amino acids in these polypeptide or in these protein molecules. Therefore, statement number one is wrong, and then wrong, 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 and then the final answer surely is C. So let's take a look at the statement number two and three. For the statement number two, there are more than one genetic code for the same amino acid. Hmm, it is the degenerate feature. Say. Some genetic code they code for the same amino acid. 
Therefore, it doesn't change the amino acid sequence in the polypeptide chain at all. So what if the amino acid sequence doesn't change? So the conformation or the structure of the protein will not change. Therefore, the shape of the active site may not change at all. Then for statement number three, it's much straightforward. It says that although there are some difference in the nucleotide sequence of the gene, the difference do not affect the shape of the active site of MSIX. So this statement even just tell you the answer. The shape of the active site of the MSIX is still the same. Surely they can serve the same function, right? So statement number three is also correct. That's why the answer is C. So you can watch the video before. Uh, there is also English version of the video about the protein nature and also the conformation of the protein structures. So watch the video and do revision.